Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Thanks for joining me today on Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. Hi, and welcome back. Uh, today, another short video on Avid, but this one I think is really, really important because I'm seeing this issue or error all of the time from new and sometimes experienced Avid editors. And it's all to do with where's my media? Where is it? Where is it going? Now, we all know that Avid, um, when we ingest, it's going to take that ingested media to the Avid media files, which is on one of your storage drives. OK, we all know that generally. But what about um, choosing that area, choosing that location? Now, there's a couple of ways you can do it, of course. If you go into Input Source Browser, we can see that in here we can actually choose which drive you want to go to here. Macintosh hard drive, we've got Super CMI here, or any other drive that's attached, the PC and Mac, they'll all be listed in here, okay? Um, but this is where errors can happen, because I've seen so many times people ingesting media and not paying attention to this area, okay? This is critical, just as a resolution is critical, just as anything on Avid is critical in terms of getting things in and getting things out, okay? So this is a quick way of making sure that you don't have to worry about this anymore, okay? Let's set up beforehand. So how do we do that? We jump to File, Settings, and now we're going to get the User Settings, which used to be up here on the pre-2018 version, but 2020, 21, 22, they've moved it. They've sort of tucked it away for us, which is not a bad thing, actually. We don't need to use it all the time. As we go through Format, Project, Users, and Sites, inside Project, you will see this listing of settings. Now, this one, Media Creation, is critical. Okay, and you want to be looking at this every time, every morning you start an edit. Look at this first. An experienced edit assistant setting up your edit suite would do this for you, but if you don't have that luxury and you're doing it on your own, okay, or you're in a facility where that isn't happening, you want to make sure that you look at media creation. Double click on it, and this is what you get. Lots of these panels, capture, titles, import, mix down the transcode, etc. I generally just jump to import because I'm generally importing. And this is where I can set the video resolution. Let's say I'm going to go for DNXHQ. And this is where I can set the drive. Click on that, and this is what the drive. I don't want to go to the hard drive, I want to go to this drive, OK? Now I can apply to all. I can apply to all. You can see that it's now all the same. I've got the codec, and I've got the drive. Codec and drive, codec and drive, codec and drive, codec and drive, and even rendering, codec and drive, OK? This is really, really important. So next time you're working on Avid and you manage to import everything to the C drive on a PC or the hard drive on a Mac and you don't know where these things have gone and you wanted it all to go to your standalone drive or you wanted it to go to the Nexus and it's not there, this is the reason why, okay? Because this selection hadn't been made correctly, okay? So this is what I want you to do. First thing, in the morning before you start any edit, okay, on Avid. Open up Avid, File, Settings, inside here, put Project, Media Creation, choose one of these columns, choose your codec, and choose your drive. Hit Apply to All, and hit OK, and come out. And then you're good to go. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.